We knew this was a, ch a challenging fixture list for us during the Six Nations, um, Scarlets, Ulster, uh, Ospreys, um, uh, but we believe that if we play well, we can win those games. We haven't played at our best. Um, thought there was improvements in the Ulster game. Our mistakes just cost us um, severely at times, whereas uh, this week we're playing against another team that's on form. I think Ospreys have shown that they're one of the best teams in Europe this year, not just one of the best teams in our competition. Uh, it's been un not unlucky for them, but they've they've, the they've they've been in the Challenge Cup and won all their games um, and played really well. They've been in the top two most of the the season, and this year's competition, I believe, is the best standard I've seen it. So yeah, first start for a while. I just think uh, obviously there's been all the boys in and boys who are more experienced than me, so it's all credit to them. You know, they're great players, and uh, yeah, looking forward to a good run it and hopefully a good game. Yeah. I think this year it's, it has been more challenging because the quality of teams we play um, during November and during the Six Nations. The three teams we played in November were Scarlets away, Munster and Ospreys at home. Um, and obviously our last three or three games in Six Nations we're playing against the top, top teams. But we have to deal with that and play as well as we can to win those games. Oh, massive, yeah. Massive looking forward to it though. It's a huge challenge, especially coming off two defeats there and the Ulster game, but the boys have rallied together in training and it should be real good going down to Ospreys and having a real good game against them. They're a class side, you know, a big forward pack, so we've got to deal with that and I think we will.